Hiya. This is the third lesson in the A2 series pack. It looks at um, the sum to infinity. It's quite nice, really. If you look at this square, if you do a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth plus a thirty-two plus a sixty-four plus a one two eight and keep on going, eventually it fills that shape. And if that was half the block, it's a one by one block. So if you add it up eventually, the total area, no matter how small the bit is, your area becomes one. And that's called a sum to infinity. Now you've got to be careful because your number has to get smaller. So by setting your, what you multiply by between plus or minus 1, that ensures that your next term gets smaller. Because if your term gets bigger, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you'll never be able to add it up. It's quite nice, though, because it leads us to this equation, a over 1 minus r. Right, let's have a look then. So it says find the sum to infinity for a. Right, so a is 1. Now, if you look, I'm multiplying by a third. So r is a third. So my sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r. So my sum to infinity, whoops, my s's have gone, my s and my infinity have got a little bit confused. So my sum to infinity is 1 over 1 minus a third. So my sum to infinity is 1 over 2 thirds, so my sum to infinity is 1 and a half. That's quite nice. Let's have a look at B. Alright, so A is 4. If you look, I'm timesing by minus a half there. So R is minus a half, so my sum to infinity is 4 over 1 minus minus a half. So my sum to infinity is 4 over 3 over 2. So my sum to infinity would be 8 over 3. There. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at the second example then. So the sum to infinity is 4. right? So I know that the sum to infinity is 4. The second term is 1. Oh, what I should point out is sums to infinity are only 4 geometric. Because your time's in, aren't you? Uh, the second term, so u2 is 1. So n is 2. Right. Now then, I need to use both these pieces of information. So let's have a look. So I know... Where's that gone? There. So with that first information, I know that 4 is a over 1 minus r. With this second piece of information, I know that, because it's a r to the n minus 1, that 1 is a r to the 2 minus 1. So 1 is a r. Now then, if I rearrange, hmm, I can rearrange and get rid of an a, couldn't I? So if I make this one, 4 lots of 1 minus r is a, I can replace that a with 4 lots of 1 minus r. So 1 will be 4 lots of 1 minus r times by r. Oops. There. So what have I got? I've got 1 is 4r minus 4r squared. There. If I rearrange it all, so 4r squared minus 4r plus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, stick it in polynomial, I just get r is a half out. So that's quite nice. So I've found the common ratio. So now I need to find a, because it says find the first term. So if 1 is a r, then 1 is a times a half. So a must be 2. There, so that's okay. The third term, right, so n is 3, a is 2, r is a half. 
So u3 is 2 times by a half cubed. So that's going to give us uh, a half, is it? Yeah. So u3 is a half. So that's the third term. And now it wants the fourth term. So if n is 4, when a is 2, and r is a half, then u4 is 2 times by a half to the power 4. So u4 is going to be a quarter. There we go. Right. Let's have a look. There. Right. So it says we can use... Oh, here we go. Sigma notation. So this, when I first moved to AQA, like 12 years ago, whenever it was, uh, really, really got me, because I thought it was the stuff from further maths, but it isn't. Um, all I did was stick a couple of numbers in. So if I put n is 1 in, I know that the first term is going to be 4 take 1 is 3. If I put n is 2, I've got 7. So if I do like a list, uh, I should do it as a list first really. So I've got like a 3, I've got a 7. If I put the next number in, so if I put in uh, 2, uh, no, so you put in 3, that's going to be 11. I'm going to keep on adding that up. But if you look, it tells us that this is going up by 4. So it's telling us it's an arithmetic progression. It tells us that A is 3 and D is 4. There. Now, if I want the first 6 terms, then when N is 6, I just need to use the right equation. So remember, it's arithmetic. There. Uh, so I can work that out. So the sum of the first six terms is 6 over 2, 2 times 3 plus 6 minus 1. What's of what's D four there? So S six is three lots of six add on five times four is twenty. So I've got three lots of twenty six. So what's that? Seventy eight, something like that. Check that because I've not worked it out properly. There. And then that works all right, so I'm just adding up those numbers as they go along. But you can see that it's arithmetic. Right. There's another one. Uh, here we go. Oh, look, see, they've just, they've just got the example added up there. Never mind. Uh, for this one, you can see that this one starts at, uh, at n is 4. So if I put 4 in, I've got 2 cubed. Now, what I could do is take that to be my first term, even though it's from 4. And then all the way up to here. So if that's my first, second first, second, third, fourth, fifth term, you can kind of say that that's u5. And you've got to be careful with this. I find it quite confusing doing it this way. I tend to start with n is 1 and n is 2 and do the sum of the first eight terms, take away the sum of the first three terms. But the pack does it in ever so slightly different way. But what it is showing us that with a times, it's geometric, with an add, it's arithmetic. All right, now I'm going to have to be really, really careful here because I'm going to run out of time. I might stop there and just do the next one.